apologize for the technical difficulties, Red Hawk Nation, but we're back here on the YouTube live channel, our Red Hawk Network. Thank you for your patience.
Welcome back, Red Hawk Nation, to CBC Siemens Basketball, taking on Patrick Henry Community College here at the Charlton Complex. Red Hawks leading 32-29 here at halftime. Halftime stats for you, DJ Molden with seven points to lead the Red Hawks, Jalen Prelo and AJ, EJ Thomas both with six points. Red Hawks dug a, an early hole there. Uh, five early three-pointers by the Patriots, but they came back at the end of the half to take the lead at halftime. So we'll see if Coach uh, Brian Garmuth, uh, what kind of halftime message he gave to his players uh, and getting them ready for the start of the second half here as the ball goes out of bounds. And that early turnover, it's going to be taken by Malik Hamrick, and he's going to give it right back to the Patriots. Turnover's costly early for the Red Hawks in the first half. A lot of missed shots as well. The Patriots going to try to capitalize off of that early miscue by the Red Hawks. Drives from the top of the key into the paint. It's going to get stolen by Cam Walden. And the Red Hawks going to set it up here. As it's pounded inside of Thomas. Back to Walden. To Evans for three. He's going to miss it, but the Red Hawks going to get the Evans going to get the rebound there. Good hustle play. <laughs> Evans thinks about it again, pulling the trigger there. But Walden, he's going to give it to Walden. Walden's going to go for two. Good play there. Good teamwork. Good shot decision by Evans to pass up the wide open opportunity there and find Walden. Of course, your Red Hawks ranked number 17 in the country. It's the first time in program history that the Red Hawks have been ranked. They were ranked 20th last year, last week, moved up as the Patriots are going to get a butt basket there. Red Hawks quickly driving down the court. Walden's going to lose it in a battle for the ball. Molden's going to pick up a, a loose ball foul there. Tough play there by, by Molden. So Patriots going to get the ball back here, trailing 34-31 with 18-14 remaining. That's going to be an offensive foul on the Patriots. Red Hawks going to get the ball back, hopefully add to this lead. Evans finds Molden in the corner. He's going to kick it across the court to, to Hamrick, who's, I thought he was going to drive and go up there, but decided against that. Walden to Molden in the corner for three. And it goes in. Three-point basket, Derek Molden. That ball's going to go out of bounds. Red Hawks with the ball up six points now. 17-23 left in this contest. Red Hawks going to try to add to this lead, keep building the momentum that they carried from the end of the second half. Walden down deep is going to get doubled and lose the ball. Red Hawks leading 37-33 with 16-49 to go. Evans throws up a three. It's going to fall short. 
Rebound's going to go to Gardner. Molden's going to get a steal there on a pass from Edwards. Walden trips over his own teammate. But Evans, Evans is fighting for the ball. Almost got it back there for the Red Hawks. And a drive there from Darius Jones. Red Hawks, or the Patriots are going to score there and pull it 37-35. CVCC checking in is going to be Tony Hauser in the post there. Comes in for Walden. Red Hawks leading 37-35, 16-08 remaining in the contest. The pass by Molden is going to get touched by a Patriot defender and go out of bounds. 15 seconds on the shot clock for the Red Hawks as Molden's going to inbound this ball. Tight early contest here between the Red Hawks and the Patriots. And a really rough inbound pass there is going to go back to Molden, who, who had inbounded the ball. Hauser finds Thomas, who just ricochets off the front end of the iron there and rebounded by the Patriots. Hamrick with a good defense there. Thomas with the rebound. He gives it to Hamrick. Drives up the floor. Thomas at the top of the key drives. Gives it to Hauser, but Hauser loses it there. Another turnover for the Red Hawks. Now the Patriots are trying to set up what they hope is the tying play. Of course, for us in Red Hawk Nation, we hope is not. Looks like Prelo's getting ready to check back in for the Red Hawks. With fifth, just 15 minutes left in this contest. Step back three-pointer there is going to be no good. Evans with the rebound. Evans finds Thomas. It's going to go off of... I thought it went off of a Patriot defender, but uh, it went off of Thomas's hands, according to the officials. So Red Hawks leading 37-35. Tight contest here early on in Region 10 play. Edwards at the top of the key is going to pull to the corner, find Jones. Jones gives it back to Edwards, who goes up, finds in the corner. Oh, big time collision there between Thomas and Patrick Henry's TJ Grove. Grove is going to go to the free throw line, shoot two shots. Grove's going to shoot. He's going to come off the front iron. we got some substitutions for both teams. Santana Williams is checking in for Patrick Henry. And checking in for CBCC is John Bean and Quincy Martin. He's going to miss both of those free throws. Big opportunity now for the Red Hawks to build on a small lead, hopefully grow it. And a personal foul there on the Patriots is going to go to number five, Nigel Boozer. Both, both teams with two team fouls apiece in this second half. Dean's going to find Molden. 
going to go right off, but Hauser with the offensive rebound. Hauser puts it up. Nope. Again, nope. Hauser almost with another offensive rebound, but loose ball goes to the Patriots. Some tough plays here in Region 10. Always a tough basketball region for everyone. That shot's going to go off, and Prelo's going to get the rebound. Prelo drives to the corner. Red Hawks go back to the top of the key. Molden to Thomas. Now to Bean. Bean back to Prelo. Thomas is going to spin. Hook shot is going to come off. Rebound to the Patriots. Williams is going to find Edwards. Back to Williams. Three-point shot from Williams. It's going to go off. Bean's going to get the, the defensive rebound there. Red Hawks have three on three pulling up the court. It's going to go to Quincy. And a foul. It's going to be a timeout from play. Thank you all for tuning into this broadcast. We're hoping to continue to build on our, our live stream broadcast. Uh, obviously, given the state of the world with COVID-19, provide you all your Red Hawk action via our YouTube and Facebook outlets, mostly, hopefully, on YouTube here on the Red Hawk Network. Of course, Red Hawk men's basketball already off to a 2-0 start this season, 1-0 conference. They won their home opener against Montreat January 22nd, 95-55. Followed that up with a conference opening win on the road against Guilford Tech, 94-72. As I've said, the Red Hawks are ranked 17th in the country in Division II basketball, their first ever season that they've been ranked. They had previously earned vote votes in the poll, uh, each of the last two preseasons, but had not broken to that top 20 till last week when they were ranked 20th. This week they're up to 17. So Coach Garmouth doing a tremendous job uh, with his program. Of course, head, uh, assistant coach Jalen Kennedy, assistant coach Sean Johnson, also doing a great job uh, for Coach Garmouth on their coaching staff. So love seeing our Red Hawks take flight on the basketball court. Your next Red Hawk basketball game for the men will take place on Saturday. They're going to host Sand Hills Community College. That will be broadcast live here on the Red Hawk Network at 3 o'clock. Of course, Sand Hills moving from Division Three to Division II. Uh, NJCAA Division Three teams will not play national championships this year, so they were given the option to play up. So there are even more competition in this already competitive Region 10. As we come back to play, it's going to be Quincy Martin shooting two shots for CVCC. This is the first. Martin's going to miss both of those. But Thomas with the, re the tough rebound there. Finds Martin again. Prelo now to Bean. Bean's going to drive, go up for it, and he's going to get fouled. Almost in one situation there. Patriots in a little bit of foul trouble. Darius Jones has already got three, and now that is the fourth foul. No, excuse me, second foul on Edwards. Bean's going to make the first of the two shots. Proud of our Red Hawk men's basketball team. They've done such a tremendous job. Bean's going to make both shots. It's going to be the Red Hawks' four-point lead here with 12.54 remaining in the second half. Williams is going to find Mentor. Back to Williams. In the corner for Jones. Back to Williams. Williams is going to heave it up. And he's going to make it. It's a three-pointer. This is a one-point game now. 
after that three-pointer from Williams. Bean's going to give it to Thomas, who's going to go inside and get the layup. Strong post move there from Thomas. Having a solid game in the post. Enter at the top of the key, being guarded by Martin. And Molden almost picks his pocket. Martin tries to get the Martin tried to get the charge, but was unable to. Reed goes around him and gets the basket. Thomas going to draw the foul on Jones, it appears. Guess that is going to be a foul on Jones. That is his fourth foul. So a couple of the Patriot guards in foul trouble in the second half. We're going to see the first appearance from A.J. Daniels now, who checks in for CBCC. Prelo finds Bean. Back to Prelo, who's going to drive, get some contact. Doesn't get the basket, but gets the rebound and the putback. Great hustle play there from Jalen Prelo. Sophomore guard from Florence, South Carolina. Doing a tremendous job. Red Hawks up 43-40 as we, we near the midway point of this second half. And it looked like, just from my vantage point, that looked like a loose ball by Nigel Boozer, but they're going to call a foul. And that's going to go on John Bean, his first foul. Non-shooting foul, they're going to say it's on the floor. Red Hawks with their third team foul. Patriots have five. Get to see our first play here from Daniels, who's guarding at the top of the key. And they're going to call a foul on him, hand check foul. Coach Garmouth uh, with a smile there. Not really happy with the call. Of course, hand check such a such a uh, picky foul for for many head coaches. Not big fans of it. Patriots are gonna capitalize though. As Reed's gonna drive to the basket and get a layup to pull. Patriots within one point. Prelo's gonna get some space, and they're gonna. It's gonna be a jump ball. Possession is going to go back to CVCC here. It was a good drive there from Prelo. But Boozer was able to get his hand up on that ball. Being into, being into Thomas. And they're going to call. Being into Thomas. Thomas went up for the shot, but they called a foul before that. That's on Reed. That's his third foul. Patriots now with six fouls. Starting to climb up on that foul total. And Bean tried to no-look pass it to Martin, but Martin was not looking. And it was picked off by Reed. And it looks like Bean's going to get called for the foul again. Yes, it is. Tried to, to guard there on the baseline. Was unsuccessful. It's his second foul. Bean's going to check out. Checking in for CVCC's Malik Hamrick. And Daniels is going to pick the pocket there and go up and score. Great defensive play from A.J. Daniels, who just picked the pocket of Santana Williams. said, give me your lunch money, and he took it. Daniels tried to draw the charge there on Reed, unsuccessful. They're going to call blocking foul on him. That's his second foul. Both teams with 16 fouls now. So that's going to bring Reed to the free throw line. 
with his team down three. He's going to miss it right off the front end. Going to be some substitutions for the Patriots. They're going to bring in Darius Sanders at forward. So Reed with second of two shots here. He's going to make it off of the glass, going to bounce off. 45-43 here with 9.49 remaining in the contest. Fralo. Fralo looked like he almost lost the ball out of bounds. He's pressured there on the inbound. But he was, was swiped out of bounds by a Patriot defender. So Red Hawk's going to have the basketball here, leading by two with 9.40 remaining. Martin's going to go up, draw some contact, and get a foul. And I believe it's going to go on Reed. It is. That is his fourth foul. And now the Patriots suddenly in really big trouble foul-wise. As Martin's going to go to the free throw line for two shots. And it's just going to rim off. This is the first. Two big shots here. Close game late in Region 10 play, the Red Hawks conference opener here at home. Molden's going to check back in for Prelo after Martin makes the second of two shots. 46 43, 9 30, about 9 30 remaining here in the contest. Red Hawks trying to pull away, trying to pull away in hopes of getting their third victory overall and second in conference play, but we'll see. And that's going to be a travel from Reed. He went into the legs there of Hamrick. Got a lot of bodies on the floor this game. A lot of slipping and sliding like a water park. Molden's going to drive, go underneath, and he's going to draw a foul. The foul's going to go on Sanders. A little bit of a light whistle, but I believe it was the right call. I know officials kind of leaning on each other to make that call, but heavy contact there. Molden's going to shoot. He's going to get the first of two. 47-43 now. Catawba Valley leading Patrick Henry. That's going to go off the front rim. Misses the second shot. Red Hawks with a steal. Hamrick. Hamrick stole that ball, threw it back into Molden. And they're going to, I believe they're going to call a foul. This is a foul. It's a, it is a foul. A foul on Nigel Boozer, his second foul, which it's a one and one. Red Hawks are going to go to the free throw line. Molden again with more free throw opportunities here. Try to grow that Red Hawk lead. And he's going to miss it again off the front end of the iron. Seen quite a few of those on free throw attempts from both teams. Hammer. Garden Boozer really close. You're going to find in the corner there. Jones was wide open, couldn't make it. Red Hawks driving back down the court. Back to Martin, who almost lost it, was not looking. Molden's going to drive, top of the key. And he's going to make it. Pullback jumper there from Molden. And now it's a six-point Red Hawk lead, 49-43 with 8.22 to go. And the Patriots are going to call timeout on the floor. Red Hawks starting to pull away a little bit. Capitalizing on this free throw chances. Once again, I want to remind you, next CVCC men's basketball game will be Saturday at 3 o'clock here at the Charlton Complex. It will be streamed exclusively live here on the Red Hawk Network. Following that game Saturday, the Red Hawks will have a week off before returning to conference play. 
as they host Lewisburg or they travel to Lewisburg for a three o'clock contest. So a couple of quick games here in the next couple of days and then a little bit of a break before they play their next game against Lewisburg, which will be a very, very pivotal conference contest. I want to big, give a big congratulations to uh, CVCC volleyball player Caitlin Daly, who today was named the uh, NJCAA De Defensive Player of the Week. Red Hawks continuing a string of awards that they have received from the National Junior College Athletic Association. Tremendous. Uh, says a lot about the program. Says a lot about the student athletes that we have here at CVCC. So congratulations, Caitlin. So Red Hawks leading here six points. Coach Garmouth had his message. Now Coach Johnson kind of giving a little secondary message. Like to uh, celebrate today the 35th annual National Girls and Women in Sports Day. Uh, we want to thank all of the countless number of CVCC female student athletes here and coaches who've made an impact on our college and the community. So thank you so much. We, we get back into action. Bolden's going to get a steal, drive, score, and nobody there to clean it up. Goes for the score and comes right off the glass and rim. And a really weird play there by Jones. Looked like he might have traveled on the drive to the basket. He was contested. Daniels is going to drive to the middle, put it up. It's not going to get there. Rogers almost had the rebound and put back there. And they're going to call a foul on Hamrick, who was bowled over there. Surprised that was not called a charge, but now the Red Hawks now with 17 fouls. That'll put the Patriots in the one and one. And at the free throw line for Patrick Henry is going to be number five, Nigel Boozer. He's going to make that first of the one and one. Forty-nine, forty-four, CBCC in the lead. The second free throw coming here for Boozer. He's going to make it. So that's going to cut it down to four points. CBCC leading. Thomas to Molden. Daniels. Thomas trying to spin and get free there. Molden is going to find Rogers. Back to Thomas. Takes a jump shot. It's going to go rim off. Rebound to the Patriots. And it's going to be a steal. A little bit of communication there. Hamrick's going to take it. He's going to be uncontested. Well, he's going to be contested, but Red Hawks are going to get the ball back. Hamrick's going to get it right back and go to the corner. Nice pass there from Daniels. Three-pointer. 52-45 Red Hawks. With 6.52 remaining here in the contest. Hamrick just hit the floor again. Physical contest tonight. As the Patriots get two back there from Sanders on a layup. Now some, some front court pressure. Daniels is wide open. He's going to miss, but... Dan but Thomas is going to get the rebound and put back. Smart heads up play there. Seven point Red Hawk lead. 626 remaining here in this Region 10 contest. Daniels almost had a, a steal there. He rips it free again. Thomas is going to get it. Molden goes. And he gets hammered there from Boozer. Referees are going to confer. I thought. The referee goes over to Coach Garmouth. I'm I'm really shocked that that's not an intentional foul. It was very very heavy. The referees are going to confer. They're still conferring.
And this is going to be an intentional foul. So this is going to be a big opportunity for CDCC as Molden goes to the free throw line and they're going to get the ball back. I believe that was the right call. It was just a heavy hack there. Molden's going to get the first one. 55-47, 6-13 remaining. Yeah, I believe that was the right call. It was, it was a lot of contact, but it was a it was a very heavy hack to the to the body and arm. As Molden misses free throw number two, but it is going to be Red Hawk basketball. Because that foul is on Boozer, his third personal. There's ten team fouls for Patrick Henry, seven for CVCC. As we have a timeout on the floor, six thirteen remaining. CVCC leading fifty five forty seven. I want to remind you fans some of the upcoming action here for CBCC. On Friday, our women's volleyball team will host its first home game here at the Charlton Complex against Lewisburg College at 6 o'clock. Uh, that game also will be streamed here on the YouTube channel, Red Hawk Network. And also, the men's basketball team, as I said before, will be home Saturday against Sandhills Community College for a 3 o'clock contest. It will be streamed here on the Red Hawk Network. Good luck to our women's basketball team, which is on the road Sunday, taking on Brunswick Community College in conference action at 1 o'clock. So got a lot coming up here in a short period of time. As our Red Hawks are cranking things up here in the spring. A very busy spring with so many teams playing. Um, obviously COVID-19 has affected a lot of the scheduling, but Glad to see our student athletes not only back in the classroom, but also back on the court and field. So we're going to resume action here. Hamrick is going to inbound the ball for CVCC, who leads 55 47 with 613 remaining in the contest. Ball's going to sail out, poked away there by Patrick Henry. Hamburg going to find Thomas. Thomas going to go and draw some contact and draw a foul. Automatic two shots there. That's going to be five fouls for Jones. He is done for the game. As I said before, those guards were getting in foul trouble. That's going to be it for Jones. Still only four Patriots on the floor. Got to decide who's going in because somebody has to. And it will be Santana Williams. Checking the official book, checking fouls. Everything's good. That was the fifth foul on Jones. As Thomas is going to shoot a pair of free throws. He's going to miss shot number one. Red Hawks struggled a little bit here at the free throw line, but trying to power through and get this conference win. Patrick Henry always a formidable foe. As Thomas makes the second of two. 56-47, 6-10 remaining here at the Charlton Complex. Boozer's going to drive on Hamrick through Hamrick and Rogers. Hamrick is going to Hamrick's going to get the rebound and he's going to fall and they're going to call travel. Walden checks in for Rogers. Five fifty-five now remaining. 
been a struggle against a very tough Patrick Henry team. And that was a turn a key turnover there. Daniel's gonna find Hamrick for the give and go. 58-47, the first double-digit lead for the Red Hawks here with 540 remaining. Williams is going to have it poked away by Evans. Hammer to Evans. Evans is wide open for three. Going to miss it. Thomas is going to get the rebound, but they're going to call offensive foul. And that's going to be a one-on-one -on -one for Patrick Henry. Still not yet in the double bonus. Red Hawks with eight, eight fouls. And it's going to send Elijah Miles to the free throw line for a one and one. <coughs> and he's going to make it. Still a 10 point lead for CBCC. But he's going to get a chance to break that. Gonna miss it. I almost airballed that, but caught a piece of the rim. Walden rebounds it. CVCC is gonna try to pull away. Of course, any contact now means automatic two free throws, so they may try to go for it. Walden drives up, lays it up, and he's gonna get the basket. 60 48 Red Hawks with 556, 456 remaining in the contest. As the Red Hawk bench starts to get a little energy to it. They can sense victory is on the horizon. They just got to finish here. Thomas going to get the rebound, and it's going to be four on two. Daniels to Evans for the pass. Great teamwork there from the Red Hawks. And Thomas with the steal. Thomas to Walden. They kind of pull it back out, Re do a little reset here. 14 point lead for CBCC. What a outburst here lately in the last couple of minutes for CBCC. Thomas going to find Hamrick. Hamrick going to pull back and miss. And Daniels with the rebound. As Hauser heads to the check, scorer's table to check in. Both Hauser and Molden. Thomas going to work the post, push up, try to get the, the layup, does not get some contact. Says he was hit on the head, but no, no whistle there. And there's going to be a timeout, a full timeout by Patrick Henry as they're trailing 62-48 here with 335 remaining. A big outburst here in the last couple minutes by CBCC. Some great teamwork, great passing. Red Hawks really working together. Trying to pull away and get this victory, their third of the season. Of course, CBCC's finished 22-9 and nine each of the past two seasons. Um, trying to get closer and closer to that national championship berth. I know Coach Garmouth uh, would love to get there, get to that tournament this year. It would be much different experience, obviously, with the way the world is with COVID-19, but we're rooting very much for his program to try to get there for the first time. Of course, our women's basketball team also trying to get there for the first time. They're ranked fifth in the nation right now. A lot of our uh, athletic teams here at CBCC doing tremendously well. Our volleyball team moving up to second uh, in the polls this week. Uh, they were fifth last week. So second-ranked volleyball team, fifth-ranked women's basketball team, 17th-ranked men's basketball program, also 17th-ranked baseball program. And our softball team, although not ranked, is 3-1 and one on the season. 
Uh, the second poll for that sport will come out on Tuesday. So hopefully maybe the Red Hawks will be ranked in every single sport. That would be impressive. And obviously with a very competitive bass fishing team that has nine national qualified anglers. So we're doing some tremendous things here at CBCC. So proud of our athletes. As we resume play, we were three and a half minutes left in the game. Good step back shot there from Edwards. He's going to make it 62-50. As Prelo drives it up the court. Walden goes to Molden. Hauser's posting up there, looking for the pass. Does not get it. Molden tries to find Walden, and there was a, some miscommunication there. And a big play, Reed steals it, drives, scores, and gets the foul. It's going to be a foul on Evans, his second, and the ninth team foul for CBCC. So 10-point lead, three minutes to go for CBCC. As Reed's going to try to bring this game within single digits for Patrick Henry. And he's going to make it 62-53 with 3.05 remaining. Walden drives it back past the midcourt line there. Some heavy full court pressure there by the Patriots. Molden's looking for somebody. Back to Walden. To Prelo. Prelo's going to pull it back, try to set up. Here with nine on the shot clock. He drives up the middle, almost lays it in, just rims out. The rim was greased there, just slid right off. But it's going to be a foul on Edwards, his third. As I said, the Patriots already in the bonus. And Prelo is going to come to the free throw line. Makes the first one back to a 10-point lead for CVCC. He makes the second, 64-53 with 2.42 remaining. Red Hawks really pulling away here, trying to preserve another victory. And a missed shot there. Prelo going to get the rebound. Red Hawks may be thinking about milking some clock now with that 10, 11-point lead. Evans throws it up. Hauser's going to get the rebound. Misses it again, but the Red Hawks, another offensive rebound there. Comes to Prelo at the top of the key. Evans into Hauser, who fights off two defenders. Lays it up, but they call the foul on the floor. But, as I've said, Patriots in the bonus, so Hauser's going to go to the free throw line. Some tough post play here tonight. Physical, aggressive. Hauser's going to miss the first. As we have some substitutions, Sanders going to Saunders going to check in for the Patriots. So Hauser going to try to get this, get this to a 12 point lead, and he makes it. Hamrick's going to get checked in really quick by Coach Garmouth. Shoves him to the scorer's table and uh, checks in as he comes in for Evans. Trying to keep some fresh legs here in late. And preserve this victory for CBCC. Boozer's at the top of the key. Going to drive down. Kicks it to Reed, and Reed's going to make a three. 65-56, 140 to go. Hamrick thought about driving, pulled it back. I think they realize time is the most valuable thing right now in this game. Got to milk as much clock as you can, preserve that win. Prelo goes up, gets the basket. Great pass there from Tony Hauser. 
finds Prelo who just drives, kicks, and gets the hoop and the harm. 67-56. Evans checks in for Hauser. Going with a smaller lineup now for the C for CVCC. More guard-oriented lineup. And Prelo can't get the three-point play there, but 67-56, 120 remaining. Redhawks in control of this game late. Just got to hold on, make a great stop here, and they're going to be in great shape to pull away for region win number two. Hamrick puts his hand out, tips it off, and he's wide open. It's to the races. Hamrick tries to lay it up, reverse there, but does not get the basket. And the foul is going to come on number 23 there for the Patriots, Darius Saunders. Third foul for Saunders. Ten for the team. Hamrick's going to try to add to this Red Hawk lead. Hamrick makes the first shot. 68-56. Goes up again, makes another one. So 69-56, 13-point lead for CBCC with a minute remaining. Really the only hope for the Patriots now is to probably connect on some three-pointers. They're having some struggles here getting the ball around. And that shot from Boozer going to go from the top of the key. Molden's going to rebound. 40 seconds remaining. Only a matter of time now for CVCC to get that victory. Looks like they're going to milk as much of this clock. Looks like there's going to be about a 12-second differential between the game and shot clock. Great come-from-behind win for Coach Garment's group. It's, it was a tough game. Prelo to Evans. It's going to rim off. 12 seconds remaining here. That's going to – and Hamrick's going to pick the pocket there and lay it in, pick the pocket of Edwards. 71-56. And I believe that's going to be your final score. Final score, Red Hawks win 71-56 here in the Tarleton Complex in their conference home – first conference home game of the season. Congratulations to Coach Garmouth and his group. 3-0 for the Red Hawks, 2-0 in Region 10 play. As we've said again, our next home game here for CBCC Men's Basketball will be Saturday at 3 o'clock. It'll be here on the Red Hawk Network. Join us Friday as our volleyball team opens its conference slate here at home with a 6 o'clock contest. So thank you so much for joining us here on the Red Hawk Network. My name's Cody Dalton. I'm the Sports Information Director and Public Information Officer. And as always, go Red Hawk.